in this society, people always want to know, so what do you do? And usually when people ask me, so what do you do? I say, um, well, would you like the list of things I don't do? Because it's shorter. And, you know, I just don't ever really know how to answer that question because we have this idea that what you do to make money or a living, let's make a living. We're living already. <laughs> so people think that what you do for money is who you are. And so there's this, this conception of, you know, this, what is, what is your career? What are you doing with your life? Well, why don't we lead out with like, you know, what we're passionate about instead of, instead of, so what do you do? Which is like, you know, for most people, what they do for money, what they do for money isn't necessarily what they're passionate about. It's what they've been tricked into believing they have to do to pay the bills to get the stuff that they don't need so that they can keep up the appearances of being an accepted member of society, a functional member of society, a, a, a productive member of society. <laughs> anyway, you know, that question, it, we should just abolish that question. My point is, I do so many things, really what I do, here's what I do. I follow my muse, I follow my universal guidance or intuition or higher knowingness, whatever you want to call it, angel, angelic guidance, you know, spirit guide urgings, whatever you want to call it. It's just like if you follow the inner voice and what you're passionate about, you just, your life becomes magical. What I started doing was following my creative muse and incorporating that into ways to bring abundance into my life. It doesn't always have to be this piece of paper that represents energy that we call money. You know, money is just a stand-in for what is actually an exchange of one person's time for another. So if you start charging for your time, doing what you want to do, then it starts to fall into place. The universe gives you more opportunities. The universe gives you more creative ideas because if you're going to follow that creative advice, you're going to get more. The universe is going, oh, here's someone who's taking the reins. They're taking the advice. Here, let's give them some more guidance. Let's see what they do with this. What I have found to be my most passionate moments in life are actually doing things for other people um, and not needing anything in return. And by doing this, by finding a way that fulfills you, that fulfills your life purpose, the money just starts to come. And so, you know, I end up making delicious gourmet healthy food for people. I do healing energy work and hypnosis. I write music and perform. I'm making a cookbook. I'm making a movie. I'm just spending my day doing the things that I feel super inspired by. Just the woods in your neighborhood are full of medicine and ways to counteract all the negative things that you've done to your body in your lifetime. But we don't know what to do with the stuff in the woods because we don't go into the woods and we don't get educated. We don't commune with nature. What do we do? We go to a cubicle and we trade our time for seven to $15 an hour so that we can pay our mortgage. And then we take that money and we go to the grocery store and we buy these foods that were made by humans, not even mother nature. And we just become more and more disconnected. So one of the things I did was I, I became more connected to nature. 
I gave myself an education about what was in the woods, and now I also take people into the woods and teach them what's out there. I've actually been in the woods eating a berry off of the trail and had some person, this happens all the time, people stop and they're like, you can eat that? Are you sure? How do you know it's safe? Meanwhile, they're going to the grocery store, buying these genetically modified foods in packages full of chemicals. They don't even know what it comes from or what it's doing to their body. And everyone's wondering why we're obese and having cancer and diabetes and dying. People are wondering why they're confused. They're wondering why everything looks crazy on this planet. They're wondering why they don't feel good. They're wondering why they can't stop eating garbage. They're wondering why they don't leave their house or have friends or the list goes on and on we're so disconnected from what we are who we are what we're doing here that people don't even know what to do anymore they just get on the computer and make fun of other people you're stupid you're an idiot why are you, i can't believe you put this on youtube okay show me something Show me something to be inspired about. Show me something bigger than criticism. Show me something bigger than hatred. Show me something bigger than uneducated armchair judgment. I just want to be an inspiration. That's what I want to do. Are you putting this on YouTube?